In this video we're going to take a look at another part of the home tab up here. We're going to take a look at uh, the alignment area on the ribbon right here. Uh, the alignment just controls um, how your text is positioned in a cell. Uh, we've got six options here. These three options control the vertical alignment and these three options control the horizontal alignment. Uh, right now the word budget is left aligned. Uh, I'm going to go down here and select these labels and make them left aligned as well. Um, let's do all of column A here. And I'm going to center everything in the cell. And notice if I make the cell wider, uh, it still stays centered no matter what. Um, I can also right align the data in the cell. Now, these cells are not very tall, so vertical alignment is going to be kind of hard to see unless I make a cell a little bit taller. Um, by default, text is bottom aligned in the cell, but you can also arrange it so that it is halfway between the top and the bottom. Or you can arrange it so it is all the way up at the top. Um, these are going to be used a lot less often, uh, simply because you're normally not going to have a lot of extra space here uh, at the top. Let's uh, undo some of this. There we go. Okay, we've got some other options here. Uh, we've got uh, the ability to increase and decrease the indent level. And uh, let's go back and um, take all of this stuff here in column A and left align it. And if I choose to increase the indent, it moves it in by a small amount. And again, and every time I do that, it increases by the same amount. And this arrow goes back the other way. Now, here's something interesting. If I have this data right aligned, and I click on the right arrow here to increase the indent, uh, look at what the description says. It moves your content farther away from the cell border. So if it's on the right cell border, and I click on the arrow, it actually moves it away from that border, even though the arrow is pointing the other direction. And if I want to get it back here, it moves it closer to the border that it's aligned with. Uh, you can also rotate text if you want to. They've got a couple of built-in options here. Um, problem with doing that is you always end up with uh, the cells getting quite a bit taller than they were before. Uh, so the times when you need that I think are, are pretty few. Um, and let's, um, let's just undo this with a control Z or click on the undo button and get it back to where it was before. Uh, we've also got an option here called wrap text. If you have a cell and some text is flopping over into the next cell, uh, first of all, if I put something else over here, uh, it wipes out what was hanging over from column F. So I'm going to delete that and now it comes back. But uh, I may not want that flopping over in the other column like this. So one thing I can do is I can turn on the text wrap feature and that will make the words wrap around to the next line rather than flopping over into the next column. And sometimes it ends up breaking up the words in the middle of a line or in the middle of a word when you do that. And if that's the case, then uh, you're going to have to go in and modify the border width or the column width yourself. Uh, also, uh, it made room for three lines of text here and I adjusted it so it's only two lines of text. And if you go back here and double click on the bottom of row two, it'll make this row as tall as it needs to be to accommodate the tallest item in the row. Uh, another option is merge and center. Uh, I've got the word budget over here all by itself, but, but this describes all of the uh, six columns that I've got here. And I may want to have that over all six columns. So I could try putting in column C or column D, uh, but the best way to do it is click on Merge and Center here, and it will combine all those cells into a single cell. And I'll take whatever text I had here in the first cell, and it will center it in this merged cell. Now the dialog box launcher here shows you some other options for alignment. Uh, horizontal basically corresponds to these buttons here. Vertical corresponds to these buttons uh, up here. The indent corresponds to these two buttons. The orientation here you can um, pick any angle you want uh, but basically this corresponds to this button up here. Uh, and you can turn on the wrap text. Here's an option that's not available on the ribbon here. It's called shrink to fit. and uh, if you apply that, it'll make the font smaller so it will fit in the cell. Uh, sometimes that looks kind of funny, though, if everything around it is a bigger font. Um, and basically, 
uh, that's about the only thing extra that you get by clicking on the dialog box launcher. Uh, pretty much everything else you want to do with alignment is available up here. And that pretty much takes care of everything on the alignment group on the Home tab.